Georgia's General Assembly during Reconstruction. There were 33 black legislators elected in 1867 to Georgia's General Assembly. Most black male citizens predominantly supported the Republican Party. The 1868 Constitution, due to the black legislators' efforts, called for general public education in the state of Georgia, although it was not enforced until 1872. The black legislators were all expelled by September of 1868. All 33 black legislators were expelled by September of 1868. Now, black people were allowed to vote, but there was not a law that allowed black people to hold office, so the original 33 were kicked out of office. Sharecropping is renting out land for other tenants to use, for them to use. Both tenant farmers and sharecroppers were farmers without farms. A tenant farmer is typically paid a landowner to for the right to grow crops on a certain piece of property. Tenant farmers, in addition to having some cash to pay rent, also generally own some livestock and tools needed for successful farming. The planter or owned landowner assigned each family a small tract of land I mean, to farm and provided food, shelter, clothing, and the necessary seeds and farm equipment. In summary, in 1867, 33 black legislators were brought into office. Due to their efforts, it stated in the Constitution of 1868, public education was allowed in the state of Georgia. There was a law allowing black, black males to vote, but there was no law allowing them to hold office. So, the original 33 were kicked out. Sharecropping is when you rent out a piece of land to another person and allowing them to use the land while they are paying rent. Tenant farming is when a farmer allows a person to use a piece of land for farming while that other person has to pay rent. That person also gets certain goods and, and services lent to them.